Hi guys, it's been a while. I apologize for the absence, but I just have had a lot of things going on and then I had like a toothache and you know that if you follow me on Instagram and stuff and it's been quite tough uh, to bear with the pain and then like summer starting, going to the beach and just many things. But I'm back and I want to show you my uh, let's say June favorites but early summer favorites because I have quite a few and um, yeah of course I wanted to share them with you and this is if you haven't seen my hair yet I shaved the back in order for it to grow like all one length and stuff and so I gave it more uh, shape. So yes, I just filmed a get ready with me video on this makeup look, except I didn't have this lipstick. So let me start directly uh, from the lipstick. So the lipstick I have on is by B Milani and this is the color here. Let me just swatch it on my hand. It's called Fruit Punch and I love it. I got this with a swap and uh, if you have Milani, it's number 11 by the way, if you have Milani and you're lucky enough to be able to get it, I just love these lipsticks. Now this is a matte finish and every time I wear it I get many compliments because it's matte yet it's creamy and it's very easily applied and um, it has almost like a mousse a feeling when you have it on and then this is the lipstick that I wear when I go to the beach. when I get there by the time I I finish like I I spend all my time at the beach it's still on so it's just lovely and um, it doesn't look too made up because it's matte and you know these colors I think are just so fun to wear um, in the summertime and why not at the beach too and I will do a get ready with me um, video at the beach so yeah so that's the first um, color that I love and what I love also about this not only the name fruit punch but it smells like Jolly Ranchers now uh, I don't know if you know but I grew up in New Jersey uh, a good part of my childhood was spent in New Jersey and I used to get Jolly Ranchers green apple Jolly Ranchers and this is exactly the smell, so I am in heaven when I smell them, when I smell Continuing it. with lipsticks, um, I have also enjoyed two Essence lipsticks. This is number 53 and this is number 52. And they are just the creamiest things ever. Um, there's not a lot in the bullet, which is fine because, you know, they're very cheap. They're like, I don't know, three euros or something. So 52 is a nude and this is the nude and 53 is pink and I mix them together because the nude kind of washes me out. The pink is a little bit too much when I'm in the city. Um, it, not that it's too much because I even wear this but I just, I just like them together, that's it. I mean, and they're excellent, excellent um, lipsticks. If you like nudes, 52 is lovely and very creamy. I've been wearing that a lot in the city for just like really easy, um, fast look. And this is more the, the color that I wear when I go to the beach. Uh, then in the evenings, I'm wearing a lot Ruby Woo. And I'm going to swatch it, but most of you know how it looks like. It's matte. And therefore, uh, and I've made a video about this too. This is Ruby Woo. It, since it's matte, I wear under it my... Um, Ducre Lip Balm. Now all of these products that I'm talking about, you can find them on my online store and not only these but all of my favorites. I put them all together in my online store, especially if you are like um, live in Canada and the US, it's easy for you to go in my online store and shop. Anyway, this is Ruby Woo. I just wear it on its own in the evening. Somebody on Instagram asked me if it's good for warmer skin tones. I think this is just universal and goes uh, well, like applies well on everyone. So Ruby Woo, these are my lipstick colors of um, June, let's say early summer. Let's go on to base, which is my favorite topic. Uh, when I go to the beach or where I'm, when I'm in the city, I use this product and it's called, and it's by uh, Filorga, uh, which is a French brand. And it's a heavy duty skincare company, which um, is very uh, like, 
um, has a lot of experience in fillers and injections and they decided to do a line uh, and this is some potent stuff. It's pure hyaluronic acid. I wanted to buy the uh, Hydroluron, which Caroline Hiring always rants and raves about, but this, I think, is maybe just as good. And it's packed with ingredients, but like heavy-duty ingredients. It's a very, has a pump um, applicator, very nice. It's a serum, so I apply it before my moisturizer or before my SPF and just plumps up the skin is antioxidant um, anti everything I has it just has so many good ingredients it has 52 ingredients and one of which is their patented um, famous FTC I think ingredient and I will um, probably purchase other things from this line so this locks in the moisture because when you go to the beach you kind of like um, your skin gets dehydrated because, well, first of all, you sweat a lot and then the sun kind of dehydrates your skin. So this is great and I wear it, like I said, every day, morning and evening. Let me just say, when I go to the beach, I uh, had this, um, this was, uh, my parents got this for me in the States, um, no, sorry, in Canada because I was really, I wanted a heavy duty um, SPF in when I go to the beach because I don't want to have don't want to take any sun on my face and I normally use the Shiseido SPF liquid um, SPF but this is a Neutrogena ultra sheer dry touch sunscreen in 110 I couldn't believe there was actually a 110 but I asked my mom to get me the highest protection and this is it and I have used it and I've been using it when I go to the beach and I love it and I'm, I just feel so like safe that I have 110 and it doesn't feel my make my uh, skin feel oily or greasy and it um, it's really great I love it and it has a wonderful smell too it's like a you know it's very very summery sunblock smell but I love it so these are the two things that I apply when I go to the beach and I'll probably do a get ready with me video when I go to the beach for when I go to the beach and then of course over it I always use some form of Shiseido product whether it's the liquid foundation the SPF or this year like last year when I went to Turkey I was really into this and I hit pan this is SP 40 and I just, um, it comes with a sponge, has a mirror, and I wet my sponge. I normally wet it with some Aven thermal water or this, which is like the rose water that we get here in Italy, which is great, has glycerin. So I saturate my sponge and I just press um, the SPF, because this has SPF 30, sorry, one SPF 30, and it just evens up my skin and makes it nice and dry, and I feel very comfortable when I go to the beach. It doesn't look like I have makeup, and the, uh, the longer you wear this for during the day, the nicer it melts in with your skin, and it just looks amazing. So, loving this in the city, especially at the beach. Then, when I'm in the city, I always use my Rachel K CC cream as a base if I don't want to use a this in the city because this might be a little bit too much, you know, 110, so I'm just going to leave it for when I go to the beach. So, uh, this is a light veil all over as a base if I want to wear other things because uh, this is way too light. This is the... Um, uh, the original color. I do want to get the neutral one that everybody uh, says is nice and um, yeah but I want to definitely definitely uh, buy more of this. Now this is important this is the Pupa, it's an Italian brand and it's their CC cream. It's 150 ml, it's huge and it has nothing to do with CC creams really. It's like a gel consistency uh, I'll show you, it's dark. It's to basically give you color and it's very similar to the This Works, that tinted kind of cream that I had and I liked, but it was a kind of a weird color. It didn't really work for my skin tone. Instead, This Works and I apply it all over my legs, all over my arms, my décolleté, especially when I go out. This is the color I'll show you on my hand. I'll show you on this hand. This is a swatch of something that I have already. Uh, that I swatched in another video and it just makes my skin it's very light it feels like water that's why I'm saying it's like the same as um, the this works it's actually even lighter and it's full of hyaluronic acid and antioxidants paraben free 
and let me just put my glasses on it hydrates illuminates and just uniform uniforms the color and um, just ideal for getting rid of that white pasty look um, and after you tan it just uniforms your tan and it's true so I'm just gonna put it all over my hand to show you the difference if you can see the difference this is the color of the cream and I just applied some you can already see and it's just I maybe I put too much I definitely put too much let me put some on my body and I I always apply this to my legs because it dries because it's like gel and it's a wonderful wonderful texture and wonderful color if you want to add enhance basically your tan. so there you go you can definitely see the difference and I apply this um, every time I go out not to the beach but in the evening and during the day as the base and I apply over even the Rachel uh, uh, Rachel CC cream I apply over it because this just gives me that little bit of a tan that you know it's always wonderful so since I don't tan my face and my neck I have to have and actually Today I'm not wearing it, but um, it's something that I always, always wear um, as a base, okay? And um, it's drying already, it's almost dried and it just illuminates your skin and evens it out and it's wonderful. 150 miles, I think it was like for 14 euros and I love it and if you're in Italy or anywhere in Europe where you can get Pupa, definitely get this. It has like a baby powder type of smell. You get a lot of product and look you can see definitely a, a difference in skin tone and yeah you can definitely see it I love it I love it and I just did actually I just recorded a get up um, get ready with me video and I didn't incorporate this and I forgot because <laughs> when you have like too many products in front of you that's what happens another great products is the Weleda skin food and this is a moisturizer and I don't use it all over my face I just use it as a highlighter here I use it today and just gives a wonderful very natural um, dewy finish when you want like a highlight but you know in like sunlight you don't want to look like you have you know glittery products or even the Mac and um, soft and gentle sometimes it's too much when you're living in a city where the Sun is blaring all the time and you can actually see in during daylight that you have like um, product here and that's not good so I definitely recommend this also if you have dry skin it's amazing it's like an alternative to the S um, Elizabeth Arden 8 hour cream which is a balm which is too uh, balmy for me and greasy in the summertime in the wintertime yes but I prefer this so that's excellent then as far as concealer I am enjoying the Kat Von D concealer I find it's one of the best concealers I've ever tried it's so thin and like water like consistency but I have it on today and I have it in the color light which is not very light but in the summertime it'll do because I I tan myself up so this is great. I also use it as foundation I just um, made a video with this and it's great I love it and I don't get um, we don't get to have Kat Von D here in Italy but my parents got this for me in Canada because they just came back and I love it I would love to try her foundation but hey you know I can't another thing that I've been using a lot is my YSL Touche Cla after I use this since so it doesn't give me a lot of brightness I do use this but very like with nonchalance I don't believe this is a must in my makeup case but since I have it I use it and I enjoy it and it's also very thin just like this so it doesn't crease and it does brighten um, very well under my eyes and I just like it I like it I I definitely enjoy it hopefully I could find maybe a dupe for it because I don't find that it's very very necessary but anyway that's kind of like for my baby. then the other blush that I've always I'm always wearing and what I'm wearing today is the Tarte Tipsy I love it and I wear it um, I apply it with my um, Bare Minerals stumpy little brush that everybody hates and thinks and it is prickly a little bit but I just I love it I do everything with this I apply my bronzer my blush I'll just apply some more and I find I like short handled brushes because I feel like I'm uh, 
drawing or painting and since I used to do that in the past I feel more comfortable when the brush is short I like it I I just enjoy that a lot I'm going fast because there's many products um, oh another base that I loved and I put it to the test is the and I have, I only have a sample though is the uh, Christian Dior Hydra Life BB cream and this is in the lightest color 01 I believe it's called beige I wore this many many days because a little goes a long way and it's like it's a BB cream and it's just amazing and I went to the beach with it I didn't go actually in the water but I had like a whole afternoon and it was really hot and I had like lunch at the beach and I was like sweating like crazy and it held up so well and I loved the finish of it it was so dewy so lovely but it didn't make me look like a grease ball so I definitely want to invest my money in buying the full size of this maybe when I finish the Rachel K there are two different things and I enjoy both both of them however I would love to use this also in the summertime but also <clears throat> like autumn I think this would be great um, it's just very luminous and very like the coverage is wonderful just wonderful then I bought I went a little bit crazy and with Rimmel <laughs> And I bought uh, three different things by Rimmel. Their powder, which I adore and I wear under my eyes. I don't have it today because I have on the Kat Von D. But um, also when I wear, when I wore the BB cream just to set it, I wore this and it's great because it's a mineral powder and I had no idea. This is in the color 005 Sunny Beige. I love it. It's so thin. It could be used as a very light um, foundation and um but you know that i prefer and i adore the mac msf natural um very nice nice smell like a very drugstore type of makeup smell and i love it under my eyes and in the t-zone i think it's amazing i also like their bronzer this is the waterproof bronzer and it's in the color 021 sunlight um, this is the color um, very enjoyable a bronzer and a very natural kind of um, finish and it's waterproof so it's great for the summertime and this is it and then sometimes I actually you know I wear this a little bit of concealer under my eyes and then bronzer and I just you know I mean there's many things that I do differently every day but that's another solution like the pupa um, the Kat Von D concealer and then a little bit of um, this under my eyes all over and the bronzer and I'm good to go a nice lipstick you know even the one I have on and that's it another thing that I bought is the blush by Rimmel and I bought it online on uh, ASOS because we don't get it here I don't know why and if you mix them all together they're very pretty it's a very pretty color but it's a little bit too cool I tend to I'm wearing, I'm wearing um, warmer colors these days, so it's very sheer, sheer, a sheer color. Um, I don't know if you can see it, probably you can. I'm not really into it. I do like the lighter color, which is sort of like a highlighter powder. It has a little tiny bit of shimmer. I find it too drying though. Um, yeah, this is like the highlighter part. I don't especially like this, but uh, if I do wear um, cooler colors, um, it'll be like it works. But I think with the bronzer and the powder and the BB cream or whatever, I think the tipsy for me is way better. Then another thing I love and it's in my must-haves is by the company called WJ Con here, which this is the cap, it's an Italian brand, very cheap, like Kiko, even cheaper than Kiko, and does like top-of-the-line products. And I just got this moussey type of gel kind of uh, eyeshadow and this is in the color. Uh, I have it on my eyes as a base. I just, like I said, this is in the color nine soft eyeshadows and they are exactly like i think the uh, makeup forever water eyeshadows the mousse but this is like a gel kind of 
cream, very watery. And once you apply it though, that's it. It stays, it doesn't budge, and it's a great, great primer. They have many colors and many are bright. This is like a rose gold, and I swatched it here in the previous video. I don't know if you can see it. I rubbed, I took off all the other products and I rubbed and rubbed and this did not come off. So once it's on, it's on. This was like four or five euros and it's my favorite primer and I've used Urban Decay, uh, The Paint Pots, uh, Laura Mercier, uh, Too Faced. I've used them all but at the end of the day, they normally, I mean, so, there is some oil that goes through. With this, forget it. And it's five, four bucks. It's unbelievable. Uh, if you're Italian or you have this company, really, really look into this and it's going to last me like a lifetime because you really need the slightest, the slightest bit. I'm just going to show you again, maybe like do a heavier swatch. Oh my God, it's like the nicest pink with like gold in it. It's very similar to expensive pink, but expensive pink is like warmer and peachier. Instead, this is like pure pink with gold. I love it. I love it. And so yeah, I just I have it on my um, eyelids with my four favorite uh, MAC eyeshadows of the summertime and of all time, I think. <laughs> no, this is Wedge. Wedge, I use it every day. I have, I took a fluffy brush and I put it in the crease and that's it. I also have it on my eyebrows and I use it all the time under my, uh, on my lash line. Then there's texture. Texture I also love. I put in the crease and I mix it in with other colors such as cork. This is another color that I love and or with wedge. And then uh, Swiss chocolate. So these four colors, wedge, texture and um, cork and Swiss chocolate, they are my favorite and I'm very much into the warm browns right now and that's what I'm wearing uh, on my... Well, today is very simple because it was just like a really quick get ready with me video but I uh, mix those four colors and if I don't wear... Um, if I want to wear it over this to enhance this color, I usually use Naked Lunch or all that glitters on the lid. Then when I made the order for the Rimmel products, I also bought the Rimmel Scandalize in the, the skin color, the nude color, which is right here. I love it. I have it on my lash line and um, I wanted to buy the MAC ones, but I believe this is amazing. It's very milky, doesn't irritate my eyes and lasts a long time and I love it. I wear it all the time. It just makes me look awake and it's not white. It's not too beigey. It's not too browny. It's just perfect. Then as far as eyeliners, I, uh, I have on the Milani, the, what's it called? Uh, liquify in brown I love it I also got this with a swap and I put I have it on my lash line I just love it it lasts all day it's so easy to apply and I just love the color I'm gonna swatch it next to I have a lot whoa it's so as soon as you like lay it on your hand like apply to your hand or your eyes it's just like it glides on you have to be very careful actually because it yeah, so this is the color. It's right next to this gorgeous pink color. Then the other, of course, eyeliner that I love is my Estee Lauder Double Wear in Coffee, which is another type of brown. You can see it right next to it. And I, it's one of my favorite um, eyeliners. And it doesn't irritate when I wear it in my um, waterline. It doesn't irritate my eyes. And it's very important. And then the mascara that I love and I will repurchase again and again. And it's what I'm wearing now. is the Estee Lauder Double Wear um, Zero Smudge Lengthening Mascara. Love this. This is part of the tubing mascaras that I talked about in one of my previous videos. And I just adore it. So yeah, that's, those are my favorites and what I've been enjoying. Um, I do alternate sometimes, but mostly those are the things that I like. So I hope you enjoyed it and I'm sorry I'm going fast, but I don't want these videos to be extra long like I normally do. And um, yeah, I, like I said, I again apologize for the um, absence, but you know, 
uh, sometimes it happens and yeah I will try to do tutorials and more videos I'm like now I'm sort of like all balanced out for the summer so that's it so guys thanks again for sticking with me and supporting me and you know if you want any of these products go check out my online um, store and don't forget for a list of all these products check out my blog because I'll write everything down and uh, for pictures too and that's it yeah so I'll see you very shortly with another video bye guys